Reading, let's continue talking about the story Marvin of the Great Woods. We're going to continue with the reading of this story. Yesterday, we copied some questions that we discussed some of the words that they are going to be used here. And we talk about a new war, a new boy that it's John Lewis. Who is John Lewis class? Do you remember who is that boy, John Lewis? Oh, you don't remember? Who was that boy? No? You don't remember what you were reading yesterday? No. No? Remember, you already copied the information also, John Lewis Pizza. It's a lumberjack. It's a lumberjack, sorry. It's a lumberjack. This story are a lumberjack. It's about lumberjack. This is John Lewis. It says that he's a lumberjack. He might be a friend of Marvin. A lumberjack. What is a lumberjack class? In Espanol. A lumberjack is a person that cut trees, I think. That's right. That is a lumberjack. It's a person that cuts trees. In Espanol, lumberjack. No, we're not in the class of, we're not going to be translating the words here. We're not going to be translating, Kelly. We need to learn in English. Now, remember that here it was discussing at uh, the breakfast, the differences that they were eating, the lumberjacks with Margaret and the different activities that they were doing after the breakfast. Now, let's continue with page 270. Today, we're going to read this page 270. Who is in that page 270? Nicolet. Nicolet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Just the mm -hmm. same people have the book. Yeah. Yesterday means tomorrow. Can I read? Yesterday. Oh, sure. The same people. The same people participating. Okay, let's see Santiago Chavez. You are the chosen one. Page 270. Are you with your book, the Santiago Chavez? One. Yes or not? Okay, continue with the reading, Santiago. Continue reading, Santiago Chavez, page 270. He glided forward. Santiago Chavez, are you with your book? 270, that is the page, 270. Now, um, some data and charts and graphs okay. are better understood by people, right? So there are analysts, meteorologists, that are going to transform all the numbers and statistical information into charts and into maps so that people can understand them better. It's easier for you so to understand a little song or a little cloud with some raindrops that a lot of math and statistical okay, numbers stop here santiago stop here because there is a background so we can listen to the background now you're a boy I, I can listen to you i can listen to the background so let's see uh yeah so we can i can listen to your voice i can listen to another voice now, let's continue with the reading, page 270. Let's see, uh, Gabriela, continue with the reading. He glided forward. His teeth making soft, whistling sounds in the snow. This third line was different from cities here in Dallas, where he will dodge the Ragman cart of the milkman wagon where the sky was not shimmering, but belching smoke, where the snow turned soddy and sun as it fell, as it fell. Here in the gray north woods, all was still and white. Beds of ice glistened on bare branches like gel, gels. The frosted nipples of pine and prunes picked the actual sky. 
and ghostly moon began to climb over the treetops. Marvin came upon a frozen lake covered with snow, which lay in circle of tall trees like a bowl of sugar. He skimmed out across on his skis, his cheeks standing in the cold air and stopped in the middle to listen to the quietness. And the Marvin heard a deep, loud growl at the edge of like a shower of snow fell from behind a grizzly bear. Marvin ripped his sky poles. A grizzly away in the winter. What would he do if a bird came after him? Where could he hide? Could he out sky a grizzly? Marvin began to tremble. But he knew that he must remain still, very still. Maybe Marvin thought desperately the grizzly. Will think he was a small tree growing in the middle of the lake. He tried very hard to look like a tree, but concentrating. Okay, stop there. Okay, stop there. Thank you so much, Gabriela. What's happening in this part class? Why Marvin eats? began to tremble. Why Marvin was trembling? Why he was nervous? Because I did a glacial. That's right, because he thinks that it's a grizzly bird. That's right. He thinks that it might be there, so he's nervous. He's nervous because there is a grizzly bird. So he began to tremble, actually. Now let's continue with the reading. Let's see uh, Isabella. Oh. Continue Ooh. with the reading on the next page. I want to participate. On being a tree was difficult because Marvin kept thinking on the bundle of the train platform. His mother, his father, his two big sisters, with two little sisters. He belonged in Salas with them, not in the middle of the great north with the grizzly. The hot tears streaming down his cheeks mm -hmm. turned cold then froze. Then another tree showered snow. Marvin saddle shot out across the lake. As he reached the shore, a huge shadow leaped from behind the tree. The breath froze in Marvin's throat. In the thick purple shadow, he saw a blue tinkle. Oh, Marvin! Then Louis held a glistening axe in one hand. He looked taller than ever. I marked the tree for cutting next season. He stepped closer to the trunk and swung the axe, the axe hard. Snow showered at Marvin's feet. Oh, Mom Petit, you cried. Jen Lewis took off his gloves and rubbed his huge thumb, thumb down Marvin's cheek. You miss your mama, your papa. Marvin nodded recently. Jen looked, he whispered. The huge lumberjack bent closer. I thought you were a grizzly bird. You what? Jen Lewis gasped. You think I was a grizzly? And Jen Lewis began to laugh and, and as he rose, more snow fell from the tree. For his love was as powerful as his act. Okay, thank you, Sabella. Stop here. One question, class. Does it was a grizzly bird, yes or no? No. 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 What it was the sound that uh, um, Marvin listened to? What was the sound? Or what? It was a person? It was a grizzly bird? Or what? A person. 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 Who was that person? Marvin. Jen Lewis. No, Jen, Jen Lewis. That's right. So that's why it says here, he was thinking that he was the grizzly bird. You think I was a grizzly, it says. But it was John Lewis because he was a big, it's a big person, that boy. It's a lumberjack. So he, he, he was thinking that it was a grizzly bird, but it was John Lewis. And as a canaries here was nervous and trembling, because of the grizzly bird, but he wasn't that. Oh, and oh. also he was missing his family. Marvin was sad because he missed his family. Perfect. 
finish this paragraph. Let's finish with this paragraph. It's gonna be Danny. Finish this paragraph. As they made their way back to the sled path, Marvin heard the French song drifting through the woods. The other jacks came down the path. They saw a dax slug across their shoulders, and Marvin and Jane Lewis joined them. Evening shadows fell through the trees in the Marvin sky alongside the huge men. He hummed the tune they were singing. Okay, excellent. Let's go to the next page now, page 272. Uh, so it's gonna be Mia Valentina. Continue with the reading, Mia. Okay. Uh, one day following the, the next every morning in the time when the night had worn thing, but the day had not yet tiny maybe shut shut that shut up leave to leave tall to Jane yes to Jane lose together they would go to that thing how we're on the on the one day, sorry, Mervin, how it is sick, sick, is sick, and how to meet when to milk the next day. The world it almost hot milk, uh, mm -hmm. milk with the milk and fat. Club Jacks bought the egg snack stick. Stick, stick Jane flew away at the with milk the flag jet and no, bacon sorry, and anything else Murray left. Okay, thank you. So Jealous always ate the bacon and any, anything else Marvin left. So Jealous is eating the food of Marvin that he is not going to eat. Thank you, Mia. Continue next paragraph, Andrea Nunez. Andrea Nunez. And every afternoon, Andrea Nunez, not connected today, it's not here. And every afternoon after that, Mar Marvin will finish his work well before sunset and the sky into the woods. Hal told the worry that is his family might catch the terrible sickness, sickness, nage at him constantly when he was in the woods. Woods, his fears grew dim in the silence and shadows of the winter forest. And every day he will fall in beside Jean Louis, has the Jacks return to, to camp. And he will hum the French songs that Jean Louis told him were about a beautiful woman in the far, then far north, or a lonely bear in its den, or a long or a lovely maiden named go with clothes. At night after supper was done, Marvin learned the long bear Jack's songs and how to play their games. The ones he called manish like axe throwing a jack will have an axe from dirty pace at the tall end of a long. For Marvin, they moved the mark of the 10 feet. The jacks challenge each other to barrel lifting and box out context. But Marvin was too small for 
those, those. He okay, was not stop here. Old. Stop here, Andrea. Thank you so much. Now, Sian, finish with the last quarter of Sian. over to small to them. Sometimes she didn't go to step right. There is a strong feet on the shoulders of, green, of the big lumberjack. In, a, in April, four months after Marvin had a ribbon of a second The snow began to melt in ceremony, said the Marvin. I promise your parents it didn't Send you back when there was still in no snow. For you to smile on your every day, I was warming. You're better go before. You have to swim out of her. I will send your friends later too. Okay, to so say you're coming home. Okay, let's finish with this bar. Let's finish with this class. We're going to stop here with the reading because we need to copy some information. In the notebook class, we're going to use the notebook now. Have ready your notebook. We're going to use these minutes to copy this. We're going to copy this evidence and write a conclusion. What can we conclude using the evidence? Remember, the drawing conclusions is used. The evidence, the story details, and what you know about it. For example, number one, Marvin hears the sound of a grizzly bird. Marvin is a young boy and he begins to tremble. He eats a lot and begins to cry. What can we conclude about this? Using the information that he's trembling, it's John, it's a John boy and he eats a lot. We can conclude, as an example, I have one answer here. Marvin is very afraid and he misses his family because he is alone. And he is afraid because it might be a grizzly bird and he is a young boy. But at the end, we know, we realize that he, he wasn't a grizzly bird. It was John Lewis, one of the lumberjacks, one of the jacks. And the number two, it says, Marvin was very confused when he saw the records of Mr. Murray had collected. Mr. Murray remembered that it's a manager, manager of the bookhouse. And it says, Marvin's mother made a list when she saw she had many things to do. What can we conclude? As an example, I have the answer here. Marvin is an organized boy and he's making a good job as a bookkeeper. Remember that this is one of the jobs that he has there, that boy. So let's copy this information in the notebook, this evidence and these conclusions. I'm going to take the attendance class while you are writing this information. Remember that you have one homework in reading class. There is an Schoology. I already see that Andrea, Andrea work on that homework. Congratulations, you did a great job. So just Andrea has started on, on working on that homework. So you can start today or tomorrow do the homework. Ana, Andrea, and Camila. Present. Camila is here, right? Present, present. Okay, Camila is not here. Gabriela, Isabel, and Chiara. Present. Present. Lucia, Mia, and Rebecca. Present. Rosa, Valerie, and Sian. Present. Present. Alberto, Dani, and Fernando. Present. Present. Hermes, Joshua, and Khaled. Present. Present. Marcelo, Santiago Hernández, and Santiago Chávez. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. I think we... Are you sure that you're finished? Yes. In two minutes, are finished? Yes. Hmm.
¿no? Mm, it's a complete color. Finish the work. Four minutes class. We have four minutes to finish the copy this information. Oh, I finished. I finished, Miss. Show me your notebook, Valerie. I finished, Miss. Show me, Rebecca. Show me your notebooks. Five minutes. Miss, I put it in other space because no club, no club in one space. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rebecca. Battery looks like they are the question of the last class. No? No, Miss, it's this class. Okay, by the way, you need to take a photo and a blood to school or you this class. Remember to have okay. it on the space that it is. Okay, so if you finish your dismiss class, you can disconnect. Remember, you have a homework in reading. Bye bye. Thank you, Rebecca. Excellent. The homework is an Schoology. It's an Schoology assessment. You have four questions, four situations, and you need to, to choose the answer for these four questions that you have. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lucia. Perfect. Bye bye.